Hey guys, welcome to another brand new video on Roblox Shindo Life. This video is actually a continuation of my previous video. So if you haven't watched that already, make sure to do so. I have showcased a lot of bloodlines in that video as well. If you have already watched that video, then you are good to go. Let's get started, shall we? But wait, before we get started with the showcase, let me show you this week's codes. These codes will give you free spins to spend on getting better bloodlines and stuff. If you want to know how to get better bloodlines, or if you want to know how to get tailed beasts easily, or literally anything related to Shindo life, I have videos on every topic on my channel. By the way, make sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe to my channel if you like the content. Make sure to redeem these codes as soon as possible. These codes get expired very fast. If you are watching this video late, then this may be the reason why they aren't working for you. Well, don't worry. You can have a look at my video on how to get a lot of spins in Shindo life. Also, since you are here, why not join my Roblox group? Oh and wait, make sure to join my Discord server as well if you need friends to play with or hunt tailed beasts together. We have about 7000 plus members. Links for both my Roblox group as well as my Discord server will be in the description of this video. Now let's move on to the main topic of this video, showcasing bloodlines. Continuing from my previous video, I am going to equip Ryan Akuma and Satori Akuma. If you want to see the previous bloodlines, go watch part 1 and part 2 of this series on my channel. So let's check out Ryan Akuma first. Ryan Akuma is one of the six character specific Akuma bloodlines in Shindo life. It is an I bloodline with a rarity of 1 120th. Ryan Akuma's move set revolves around dealing burn damage to enemies. Like every other Akuma bloodline, this one has a samurai spirit as well with multiple stages. It's overall a good bloodline and one of my favorite bloodlines. I really like the third attacker ability it has. Next up, we have the Satori Akuma bloodline. Satori Akuma is one of the six character specific Akuma bloodlines in Shindo life. It is an I bloodline with a rarity of 1 100. Satori Akuma's moveset revolves around dodging, countering and stunning opponents. Satori Akuma's abilities and movesets are very similar to the better bloodline, Riser Akuma bloodline. So Riser Akuma is overall better than Satori. I'm going to show Riser Akuma later on. Satori Akuma also has Samurai Spirit modes, which will boost your stats. Its movesets are good to use in PvP situations to evade attacks and counter the opponent's moves. The next batch of bloodlines is Minakami, Azarashi, and Shadow. So let's start off with Minakami. Minakami is a clan bloodline with a rarity of 145th. Minakami's moveset revolves around medium range attacks through the use of puppets. Basically, this is a puppet master bloodline. When you equip this bloodline, you can see a puppet on your back and the original character combat is replaced by a new puppet combat system. It's not that good of a bloodline, but it's really fun to use since this is one of the bloodlines where you get to see a new type of combat. It is a little bit difficult to master, but if you can learn this one, then it can be very useful in PvP, as this new puppet combat has a greater range than the original combat. It has a mode as well, so you will get some stat boosts. When you use the mode, a second puppet appears as well. Overall, a fun to use bloodline. The next bloodline we are testing out is the Azarashi bloodline. It's basically the Uzumaki clan bloodline from the Naruto anime. Azarashi is a clan bloodline with a rarity of 155th. Azarashi's moveset revolves around releasing golden chains to bind and displace the target, sacrificing damage for increased utility and zoning capabilities. This bloodline has a mode with two stages as well, where you get to see golden chains coming out of your character. Just like Ishina Uzumaki in the Naruto anime. It's again a good bloodline to look at, but doesn't deal as much damage as others. But if you use it with other good bloodlines, then you can make really overpowered combos using the Azarashi bloodline since it helps in binding and slowing down the enemy. Try out this bloodline if you want to. Try making combos out of it. The next bloodline we have is the Shadow bloodline. 
Shado is a clan bloodline with a rarity of 1 30th. Shadow's moveset revolves around immobilizing enemies through the use of shadows, making it ideal for stunning in PvP. This is the bloodline that Shikamaru Nara has in the Naruto anime. It's kind of better than the previous Azurashi bloodline I just showed, in my opinion. It has a low rarity, so it's really easy to get, and again, you can create very overpowered combos using this bloodline. It has a mode has well, with a good mode attack which drains no chi. Next up, we are going to test out the Storm, Nature, and Dakei bloodlines. Let's start off with the Storm bloodline. Storm is an elemental bloodline with a rarity of 1 30th. Storm's moveset revolves around stunning and zoning with thunderclouds. It's an average bloodline. You are better off with its upgraded version, the Ashen Storm. I showcased the Ashen Storm bloodline in a previous video in the Bloodline Showcase series. Coming back to the Storm bloodline, it has a mode as well, which will give you some boosts. I don't recommend using this bloodline, as it is neither good damage-wise, nor visual-wise. But if you are a fan of Darui, from the Naruto anime, for some reason, try using it. It's his bloodline. The next bloodline we have is the Nature bloodline. Nothing to talk much about this one. It's pretty bad. Just spin it if you get this one. Nature is an elemental bloodline with a rarity of 1 6th. Nature's moveset revolves around long-ranged attacks with wood. The Shizen and Riiken Shizen bloodlines are considered superior clan bloodline variations of nature. Now we have the Decay bloodline. The Decay bloodline is the Katsuryugan bloodline in the Naruto anime. Decay is an eye bloodline with a rarity of 1 35th. Decay's moveset revolves around delaying damage, stunning, and close ranged attacks. It's an okayish bloodline, which a lot of people actually use. I think because it's not that rare, and specially because of its third move. The third move is really good while doing war mode to defeat bosses. It's the eye bloodline with the lowest rarity in the whole game. So it's pretty easy to get. It has a mode as well, with two stages. When you use its second mode, you get three tentacles, made of blood release, from the user's back, around their waist. It looks just like Kaneki Ken's Kagune, from Tokyo Ghoul. Overall it's not that good of a bloodline, but do try it, if you want to. It's kind of fun to use. And that's it, for the part 3, of the All Bloodlines Showcase video series. In this episode, we had some really cool and awesome bloodlines, like two different Akumas and Decay, as well. Let me know, what do you think about them? Also, comment down, your most favorite bloodlines, and the ones you wish to get. Let's aim for more than 500 likes for part 4. I have a lot of other bloodlines to showcase. So, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, check out my other videos. I am sure you will find something worth watching. That being said, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon in another video. Peace.